Hey guys, welcome to another video of mine. Name's Carnivore Kip. On this channel, we get healthy together. Have you ever just knew you needed to go for that walk? You needed to get out and move your body, but you absolutely didn't feel like it? That's me today. That's why I'm filming this video today. So that I'll get my walk in. Man, since January 2nd, the last six weeks or so, since I started back on my carnivore journey have been absolutely incredible. But uh, it's so easy to become complacent, guys. I don't want you guys that are watching this video to be okay where you're at. I want you guys to keep moving forward. I wanna keep moving forward. I have so much to be thankful for. Here's a small clip of something that a subscriber sent to me recently that really touched my heart and whenever it happened it made me think man these people really believe in me they really want to see me succeed so check out this clip so guys a subscriber they sent an awesome bike trailer to me and Mackenzie for us to ride the bike with Abigail let's check it out Abigail this is her first time seeing it Go look at this, Abigail. What is this? What is that? Hey, you wanna get in here and ride? Come here. Come here. They're not gonna be able to hear, but. Hop in here. Get in there. Come here. All right, get in there. Here, I'm gonna pull that back. All right, sit down. Abigail's ready to go for her first bike ride with daddy. Are you ready? ready. Are you ready? Let me turn around. While I'm walking, uh, I hope it's all right for me to take a couple moments and shout out a few people that have sent me a few items recently that helped me on my journey. So bear with me guys as I shout out these people because they're incredible. So y'all just seen where Mr. and Mrs. Cheney sent me uh, that bike trailer and that's amazing. And uh, on top of that, I wanted to shout out some people that sent some stuff to my beautiful Abigail for her second birthday. This past weekend was her second birthday and I appreciate y'all looking out for my baby girl. Uh, I have my phone right here so that I don't forget anything while we're walking. Mama Bear Lynette, you sent a, uh, what was it, a monastery toy for Abigail that she could play with. Thank you so much, she uses that at church. It's one of those little books that you open up, it's like pink, you open it up and do stuff with it. And then Aaron Ulrich's, yeah, Aaron Ulrich sent a, the cutest little dinosaur backpack ever. It's pink, got a little dinosaur that slides in the back of it. My wife was in love with that. And so was Abigail. She's going to be taking that to church with her, you know, throughout the week. And on days that she goes to church, because she loves to take toys with her, and she'll stuff them in her backpack. I can't forget an amazing anonymous subscriber that has sent multiple things to my wish list and I'll name a few things recently that came from them. It was a little pink bike helmet for Abigail, some Chomps mini beef sticks for Abigail to eat because she can't eat the big the big ones like I can and she'll waste them if I try to give them to her. And then also that the anonymous person, they noticed that in one of my videos, my socks, whenever I was doing my weigh-in, they noticed that my socks look kind of rough. So they sent me like three packs of socks. Thank you so much, but I will say one of the packs that they sent can't remember exactly what they're called. They're called Wernies, I believe. My wife stole them from me. She loves them so much that she's wearing them. And she said that they're officially hers now. Let me adjust this lens a little bit. It gets bright. Maybe that helps. 
but it's crazy that even in the evening time that sun can get you in that south alabama heat that anonymous person also sent some uh extra sparkling waters to have at the barbecue meet and greet that we're doing in south alabama on april 6th so thank you that all the sparkling waters will be covered now i mean i'll i'm still gonna go out and buy meat and buy waters i need to get a bunch of water but all the uh you know all the meat and all that stuff we'll get all that covered guys and i forgot to mention they also sent a side arm that goes to my gimbal so that i can hold my gimbal in different positions learn to hold my gimbal differently so thank you for sending that i want you guys to know that i don't take all the things that you guys have done for me lightly the support it it honestly blows my mind guys and i'm very humbled i appreciate all that you guys have done for me because I don't know if I would have still been on this journey if it wasn't for you guys. And also the prayers, more than anything, more than any gift, the prayers have been tremendous. And I'm so thankful for them. And I'm thankful just for you guys being here and watching me walk out in the country, go check my mail, do things like that. I, I truly, truly appreciate that. I had an email the other day from a subscriber that told me that they were literally buying me a pool. And it's the, well, you're thinking a pool for me and my wife to get some exercise in. Because being as much as I weigh, sometimes it's good to do things that are low impact. So it's going to be a pool for that. But also, man, I have a two year old daughter, Abigail she's gonna love she's gonna be so excited when she sees a pool that's her pool that she can go swim in and you know i can toss her in there get her some floaties and little pool toys and let her just have a blast i think that's gonna be so much fun like shooting water guns with her and just enjoying family man that's what this is all about the whole reason I've even been putting myself through this is so that I can be there for my family. I'm not putting myself and doing carnivore for any other reason than for health, to live a longer life, and to be able to do things for my, for my wife and for my daughter and for my future kids. And, you know, uh, so if you don't take time to do things with your family while you can, you're probably gonna regret it. There's so many people that say, man, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. I don't wanna say I wish I would have when it comes to my baby girl. I wanna do those things. Now, one thing I'm not doing with her is I'm not getting on a roller coaster when she gets older. I hate roller coasters, so I ain't doing that. <laughs> My wife was asking me about that the other day. She's like, if Abigail wanted to get on a roller coaster with you, would you? Nah, maybe a little bitty one like with some little elephants or something like that. Dumbo or whatever. But I'm not getting on no wild, crazy roller coaster. So guys, I'm out here and I'm putting in the work. And my question to y'all is, are you putting in the work? What are you doing today? Are you moving your body this evening? Are you uh, going for a walk? Are you riding your bike? What is it that you're doing to make yourself better than you were yesterday? I want to be better today than yesterday. Tomorrow I want to be better than today. But it ain't going to do it if I spend my whole life sitting on the sidelines. You know, sitting on the couch. Something that I'm noticing is that my clothes are starting to get looser and you know once they get really really loose i know i'm gonna run into a problem guys uh so but it's a good size a good sign it's a good praise report my belt i'm getting farther in on the loops again and you know i'm gonna have to go back down a belt size and it's awesome whenever that happens but this time, I'm gonna keep it that way. 
last time I lost a bunch of weight and I decided it'd be a great idea to gain it all back. But I've learned, I've learned so much. I'm not gaining it back. If you're keto, carnivore, ketovore, line diet, BBB and E, won't you do me a favor and hit the like button right now? Won't you do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing on your transformation. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Won't be long, we'll be doing us another uh, weekly weigh-in as well.